for the Metro Magic in their first World Series. One game from an iconic comeback. Shot the one and go! One game for the Eastern Eagles, who are chasing a feeling from seven years ago. One game to feel it again. Shot the left field! You're good! One game that 76 others helped craft. Melton, and that ball is well oh, Unbelievable! A banana strike three! Perfect game for Follow! The Eagles have a 2 0 lead! This series is tied at two! One game. Game five. The best two words in MLW Wiffle Ball, game five. We will officially crown a champion today. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia for game five. I'm Kyle Schultz, this is TC3, the final time in 2023 and somebody will come out on top. What's gonna decide the game, Tom? Couple things. Number one is stamina. I mean, this is the fifth game of the day here. We haven't done a game five of a World Series on the same day as game one in many, many years. I think 2017 was the last That's time. Right. So players are exhausted physically, mentally, everything. Number two is depth. I mean, look at AJ Ackerman. He did not start in game one, folks, and he's been a huge factor for the Magic in this series. So role, role players like him stepping up in this one is massive. I also wanted to note, Kyle, I mentioned in the pregame show that the Magic have not won a series this year without a Grant Miller home run. He's home run right. in every series he's been at and they haven't lost with him yet. So it may take a G Millie bomb to win this one for the Magic. And it will end just how we started. Wallgate versus Allen on the mound, a battle of the aces. These guys are excited, we're excited, the fans are excited. So here we go with game five of the World Series in 2023. Let's go. Baby. Game five starts now. Dallas Allen on the mound against RJ Wallgate. Miller to lead off. The series has officially gone the distance. Ball four to Grant Miller. That one is in the left center. It's gone! AJ Hacker, home run in game five. A two run shot, two nothing. The Magic lead it in the first. How about this kid? He has been clutch. As the crowd chants MVP. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Agner chases over the zone. Nice pitch there from Dallas Allen. Gets bottom. Nice pitch, slider off the 10. But AJ Ackerman with a two run shot in game five to strike first for the Magic. Here we go. Yep. Eagles in the bottom of the first now at the plate. Got a piece to the left side. It's going to be a very tough play. I think he beat it out. He beat it out. He beat it out. Zach, Zach Whalen with a leadoff single. Whalen doing what he does best. Now it's Dallas Allen looking to help himself out. Shot to left field. Pass Grant Miller. First and second for the Eastern Eagles. Come on. These Eagles are hyped. Nobody out for Dan Schultz. We're gonna miss 73, still a strike, still a strike. 
but we have a warning there at 73 miles per hour. One out, first and second for Landon Yurgaitis. So you miss at 72, perfect speed. Two down. That is so clutch. First and second, Waylon will be the hitter with two outs. Let's go, Zach, good hitter. Swing and a miss at 72. RJ Walgate is dialed. Bounces back from two guys on. Strikes out three hitters. What a pitch there from Dallas. One down. Ball four to Jack. Took some way off, strike three. On a 57 mile per hour, little banana light there. All right, here's Grant Miller. First and second now for Ackerman. Outside. We are loaded here in the second. With two outs. Full count, two outs. Whoa! The magic tack on another. It is three nothing in the second. Bonham comes in and scores. The Magic can taste it. Ground ball to the right side is Waylon. He'll scoop it up and touch first. The Eagles will get out of it. Three nothing is our score though. The Magic add another in the second. This Eagle offense has work to do. Drop ball fair to the left side. It's Miller, the throw. Not in time save. Dallas is in there. Big for them. Here's Daniel. Three shot, foul territory. Grant Miller will make that catch. The tag, he will limit Dallas. Come on, Lando. Staying up. Staying up. Swing and a miss. 72. Perfect speed. Strike three. Swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. A drop ball into the 10. This team has all the momentum right now. We're gonna miss. Nice pitch from Dallas Allen. Little finger ball action there. What a banana! Dallas Allen. Strike three. Nice pitch. Dallas Allen doing a Ryan Kraft impression. The look away strike on the two seamer. And now we head to the bottom of the third where RJ Walgate will look to close it out. And this crowd is really getting into it now. Shot, but caught by Grant Miller. One down in the third. Snag in left. Time, play. Jump ball into the 10, two down in Atlanta. The hitter will be landing your guidance.
Safe, I believe! Safe, I believe! Safe at first! Landon, your guidance extends the game! Come on, Zach! Let's go, Zach! Ball four! The game tied run is coming to the plate in the pens. Game five. Would you want it any other way? It's Dallas Allen at the plate against RJ Walgate. Two on, two out. Good, a one. Are you down? Play. Swing and a miss! 0-2! Oh Come on, down. Outside! Any warnings just to me? Okay. Let's go, down. Come on, Come on down. Foul back. What did you say, Tom? Well guys, this is never easy. Um, you played a really good team right there, the Metro Magic, very resilient bunch. You guys are as well. It was a tremendous World Series. Your gut reaction to how this one wrapped up, Dan? Yeah, obviously a tough one, not the result we wanted. Uh, first off, credit to the Magic. Um, but you know, even though we couldn't get it done, obviously, tremendous experience. Uh, Mercedes-Benz, like this was crazy atmosphere. And I just want to say I'm really proud of the squad. So uh, definitely a tough one though. Dallas, you played your butt off, man. Um, didn't go your way, but I just want to say from my perspective, you really showed a lot of resilience and a lot of heart and a lot of courage out there, so congratulations on that. But what does this mean for um, a group you love to come up just a little bit short? Yeah, I mean, even though we blew that tool lead, this is MLW in 2023. It's a little different than uh, 2017 mm -hmm. for sure, but um, the Magic played well, but um, to be honest, like this came down to hitting, and 
Shout out to AJ Ackerman, two home runs, game four and five, and we didn't put up any runs against RJ in four and five, but it was a great series, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Really good job, Dallas. Land in your guidance. You performed very well in games one and two. Um, you, you saw the ball very well. Just talk about this squad and what makes them so special. Um, you know, up to down, we never gave up, kept going. Uh, started out the season like horrible, um, under 500 going into the All-Star break. So the way that we were able to bounce back and even make it here is um, it's truly something special. Love it, love it. Let's go on to Carson real quick. Carson, yeah. how, do you, how would you wrap up this year in a couple words? Uh, it was fun. And I thought we had a solid season, and we'll do better next year. They didn't believe in us? God did. That's right. Zach, so tough L out there, but he played well. He put the ball in play. You do what you did. A lot of these games come down to 50-50 stuff, and uh, the ball bounced their way in game five. Um, just talk about the squad and coming up just a little bit short. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, regardless of what happened, the mentality was the same game one through game five. Our positive energy was the same, game one through game five, and sports are gonna be sports, it happens. Yep. You take the good with the bad, you'll love it either way. So it was, it's a great season. And Blade Walker, what will it take for this bunch to be back on a big stage in 2024? Just uh, have a lot of fun in the off season, enjoy the process, and yeah, have fun. Love that. Good season, Blade, and the rest of the Eastern Eagles. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened. Give it up for yourselves, you guys Come are chat. Come on, Let's go. Come on, fellas. Does that even sound real? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's really set in yet, honestly. I think it might take some time, but th this is just incredible. What's it, awesome. what's it mean for you, the manager, to assemble a squad to be World Series winner caliber? Yeah, man, I've, I've been in this league for eight years or so now. I've you know, been on multiple teams, started one from the ground up, had so many different faces come through this organization. It's yep. just been a long time coming, and to finally break through is just, it's, it's incredible. Congrats, Jack. Thank you. Appreciate it. Going to RJ Walge Let's here. Go. The Dog. ace, SP1. Dog. Let's go, kid. Oh, my goodness. What does it mean for you? A year and a half ago, you weren't even playing competitive wiffle ball. Now you're an MLW World Series champion. And you just wanted the bends. What's your gut reaction, I RJ? Know, dude, it means everything. These guys, awesome, the war, just having a plan and everything. Sometimes I wondered why I choose the road he did, like have me not do well in game one. But I mean, just so happy to be out here with these guys. Winning a World Series is unbelievable, and uh, just so, can't, still can't believe it. Just, Congrats, RJ. Thank you. And I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Your World Series MVP for 2023, AJ Ackerman. Come on. <laughs> Oh my goodness, with a home run in game five and uh, another one also in the series and just putting a lot of great swings on the ball, what does it mean to be a World Series MVP? It feels good, you know, just uh, trying to take good swings, every, every count really focusing in, locking in. Uh, yeah, just feels good, feels good. Congrats, AJ. Thank you. <laughs> a man of few words, but he's, he plays a big game. Let's go on to Trevor Bonham here, now a guy that came into this league in 2020. No. <laughs> We're on some bad teams. Let's just put it all out there. Some, <laughs> some Mallard teams that weren't good, Magic teams that weren't good. So how much sweeter does that make this? That much sweeter, honestly. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a blessing. Like th These teammates, uh, how we did it was crazy. Uh, this has just been amazing. I can't, I can't say thank you enough, but this is awesome. Congrats, Trev. Thank you, thank you. And, Curdy, I want to know the conversation when you guys were down 2-0 in the series. Like, how much confidence did you guys realistically actually have amongst yourselves? I'm not going to lie. We had all confidence in the world. Really? Uh, we've, been, we've been down all year, either first games or first couple games. We've always managed a way to come back and win it, and uh, just another repeat for us. Congrats, King Curdy. Appreciate it. Right, here you go. You were in the all-fun game. Now you're a World Series winner. <laughs> it's, a different, it's a different vibe, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, let's bring in Grant Miller. Congrats, really? Grant. Give it up for your boy, Grant Miller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a year you've had, man. A lot of whiff. You playing on ESPN Plus. You playing an MLW World Series champ at Mercedes Benz Stadium. You got a family now. Like, life is life is moving for you right now. So, like, for this to culminate in a World Series championship winning team, what are you feeling right now? I mean, it, it's magical, guys. <laughs> I mean, we haven't said it enough this year. It's been a magical season. It has been. Um, I mean, Seriously. lots of ups and downs. And I mean, to go from 0 and 2 and win three in a row. We like like Curdy said. I mean, we we. We believed it. We believed it all the way through. So, I mean, it's just great. Praise God. It, God's good, man. God's good. Once again, congrats, Grant Thank Miller. You. Thank you. Congrats, Metro Magic. Oh, we got a shout-out coming? Oh, yeah. Shout-out shout out to this fan 
Oh yeah. That's a Magic Nation Great fan prop. right there. Look at yeah. that. Can we talk about how good your fans were in the crowd, by the They're way? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I do want. I did want to say the the Magic Nation is is may, might be small, but I think it's growing now, and no. they are certainly mighty. They came out today. It, it was an so awesome great. showing. So we, thank you to all you that came out. Do we think any bandwagons are going to come your way now? Absolutely. Yes. Come on board. Come on board. Hey, now's the time. You got you got 24 hours to claim your bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> but that will do it for not only the video and the series, but the 2023 MLW season. Season 14 in the books. With that, subscribe in that corner. See the last video from us in that corner. All of our links in the description below. We'll see you next time. Let's go! What's going on, man? How we doing? Oh, that's a sweet card. This is sweet. You have fun? Thanks for coming out. everybody welcome to the actual conclusion of the video and season this part of the year we did it last year I kind of liked it but it's a very raw conversation with me and Tommy just talking about not only the World Series but the season in general and Tommy it was a crazy one it was uh, a lot of good memories we went a lot of places it's hard to even remember everywhere we went this summer but it feels like every other weekend we were back on the road back filming back planning and just going from event from event from event from series to tournament from series to tournament and just so many guys involved so much help that we got and I think everyone who did help us but man just a lifetime memory is jammed into one summer it feels like right when I think of 2023 MLW in the future I'm going to think about the summer of stadiums campaign that we started up where we were in Detroit Philly St. Louis and then also the mini MLB series in Vermont and then of course here in Atlanta but I think it's so cool to just travel with the guys, make, form that bond for, with people that we don't have bonds with already, and then reinforce those with guys we've uh, grown up playing wiffle ball with. But then also to meet the fans and then incorporate them into the channel in these videos is, is honestly the, the best part about what we do. So that's for sure going to be in the future, um, future plans. But once again, everything culminated into this World Series. We had merch going, concessions, uh, the scoreboard was on. These are all improvements from the SoFi World Series last year. I don't know if you guys remember that um, conversation me and Tommy had, but we were you know, saying, how can we improve things? How can we top this? And I bet a week from now we're going to be doing the same thing of like, how can we improve the 2023 World Series? But that's just how we think. That's how we, that's how we do things. And um, I, I feel like you guys know that from us. <laughs> Yeah, a lot goes into it, and we appreciate all you guys' support. Like, we just had the meet and greet from this event, and hearing the support from the parents and the players saying how they can tell, like, how big of a production it actually is and how much work it is for what a small team that we have and how the players are involved helping out and cleaning up and setting up and speaking to the crowd and everything. It's just a big operation, and once again, I can't thank all the help we had enough um, from their staff to our staff to Brendan behind the camera. Last year we had Goody, now we got Brendan back there helping us out this last shot of the day. It's been a long day. So uh, yeah, just another great summer. Uh, like I said, a lifetime memories jammed into one summer, it feels like, and uh, who knows, man, who knows what will be next year. I guess one question for you, Tom. What was one of the most underrated best parts of the summer? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's just like I said, that you, you forget, because we go so many places, you right. literally forget like where you went and everything. 
Uh, this year, I got to drive, funny story, I drove to uh, York, Pennsylvania with Pishka, one of the new guys. Never knew that yeah. kid in my life. Spent eight hours with him in the car. Yeah. Get to know somebody, make a new friend, which was cool to me. And uh, me and you kind of had a private tour of this place when we came uh, last mm. month. That was also really cool, just meeting their staff, seeing how they operate. And we never really had like a true event coordinator with us. Mm -hmm. Last year at SoFi, it was just us being on the field and then doing it ourselves. So working with their staff was also cool, in my opinion, having their support and their resources a little bit with our event. Right. For me, I want to say just like, the little things, the little fun part and the intermission parts of our out-of-state series videos are super fun for me. Like filming with the Philly mascot and doing all those segments in Detroit and St. Louis, like the sock toss, like all that all that fun stuff. I think it really involves the crowd and it, it, it plays on video. So all the little things that we, um, you know, the games are competitive, obviously. People want to win these games when we're playing out-of-state in front of crowds and stuff like that. But for us to put the fun aspect into it and just just give the crowd a good time. That was uh, that is something I think me and you really put a lot of priority towards in 2023, and something I for sure, for sure want to keep improving into 2024. Just the game day experience type of atmosphere mm -hmm. and aspects of putting on a, an a out of state series, special series. So um, all things that are in my mind right now that I'm sure we'll we'll touch upon. But once again, huge shout out to Rob and Jalen from the Falcons and Mercedes Benz Stadium. Uh, you guys were a huge help. Everybody at the Falcons was great mm -hmm. with us. But I don't know anything else you want to touch on from the 2023 season. Oh man. No, I think I need a nap first and some food and some water before I can make any more comments. But what a day, what a series, five games. Uh, the Cobras, like I said, they're, they're thankful right now that mm -hmm. the Eagles blew that. But just I'm happy for the magic. You know, Jack's been around for a long, long time from his Preds days to now from being at absolute zero with the magic. Just the unsung hero, AJ, coming out of nowhere today and having a huge day. Just really cool. And I'm, I feel like RJ's kind of our first true player to go from actual super fan to champions so what's very closely reminds me of like guys you hear about in the MLB or in the NFL and they show the highlights of them as kids and at events and then to grow up and play on the big stage I'm um, sure we're at a smaller scale but that's really our first time it's ever happened before where we had a big MLW fan come into the league turn into a superstar and then win the whole thing so that was pretty cool to watch today and just seeing him you know embrace his family afterwards and his reaction was awesome yeah I fully agree with everything you said um, I want to pay some homage to and uh, give a shout out to all the Eastern Eagles Mm -hmm. I know it's tough for them. They're probably going to get a lot of jokes written about them, about blowing a 2-0 lead and stuff like that. But they're all great kids. We've touched upon this. Great chemistry within that squad. And um, I feel like they will be back. Every I'll time you back. got Dallas Allen pitching for your squad and Dan at the helm, uh, those Eagles will be hard to get through. Very pesky bunch. They're good. They're good. i got to figure out how to beat them next year. Um, but that thing, I think that pretty much does it as we have a plane flying overhead here. The final outro of the year is right now. And it was a great 2023 season. But I am sure 2024 will top it.